Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Space Acacia pop-up tent. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have a number of other accessories that will go with this tent, and I'll put a link below to the videos I did on those. So here on the side it says spacious, fast setup, increased airflow, waterproof, and windproof. So let's get this open and set up. Now I'm going to open the package with my knife, but I'm going to be very careful not to cut real deep into this because I don't want to potentially cut the tent or the bag underneath. Okay, so the first box was a shipping box, a pamphlet that talks about the different accessories. We have the canopy and the floor. And this talks a little bit about the tent. There are lots of different colors. And here is the instruction manual. So you'll want to read through this, but I'll go over a number of different things. So this comes with instruction manual, tent, carry bag, short rain fly poles, long poles, storage bags, removable rain fly, guy lines, and ground stakes. Here are the different parts of the tent. So we'll probably go over most of those. And here's the setup procedure. So you take the tent out of the bag, you locate the door, you pull out on the sides, then you enter the tent and you push up on the top. Then you want to locate the longer poles and those will attach on either side of the door. And then you attach the guy lines. So those will connect to the loops on each of the panels. And then you attach the rain fly. So there are golden buckles and they will attach on the O-rings above the door. And then you install the two short poles for the rain fly, and then you stake it to the ground. You put your stakes in at 45 degrees, and this talks about the usage of the rain fly. So it has capes that can pull down over the sides. This talks about the footprint. It can be removed separately for easy cleaning and storage. It's attached with Velcro. This talks about removing the rain fly and taking down the tent. Okay, so this will be my first time setting it up. I'm going to film it. So if I run into any issues, I will share that. So let's get this box out of here. I'll cut the end of this box open. Again, I don't want to cut the tent. Now it looks like they already thought of it. There's padding in the end of the box so I wouldn't have cut the tent. But you still want to be careful nonetheless. So let's get this out. And at this point I think I'm just going to dump this out on the ground around where I'm going to put the tent up. Okay so I have some flat ground here and I'll probably end up repositioning the camera a number of times as I'm working through this. Okay so here's the tent bag. It has a handle on it. Looks like we have some straps holding this together. I'll unclip them. We have the pull bag, we have the stake and pull bags. So these are going to flop down. I may need to pull back here a little bit. Okay, hopefully I have everything in the shot there. Okay, I have the four sides out. So in the manual, it says you can step on the bottom while you're pulling it out. So I was a little apprehensive at first because this is the first time I've done this, but you have to pull pretty good on those to get them to pop out. So now I'm going to open the door. And I need to pop the top up. So I'll take you in there with me. So here we're in the tent. I need to push this up. And now the tent is up. So it's a little bunched up in here. So I'll go outside and I'll pull the corners out. So I'm around six foot tall and I have quite a bit of room in the middle of the tent here above my head. Let me walk towards the side. And if I stand up near the side, I start to touch right when I get to the tent portion here. Of course, this sticks out further than it does up here. Next, we're going to get out the long poles, and you can see there's a little orange pocket here. 
and there will be another orange pocket down here. I'll just keep the camera here and I'll put the pole in the top pocket and then I'll put it in the bottom pocket. So these have elastic in them. There we go. So these are kind of traditional tent poles like so. Actually, I think it'll be easier to put the bottom in than the top. Next, I'll take the Velcro loops and put them around the pole. Now I'll do the other side. Okay, those poles are in. So reading through the manual, you actually put the top in and then the bottom, and then you join the stakes together. So now I'll put the stakes around the bottom on the perimeter. These are the stakes that came with. These are very thick stakes. They look about quarter inch thick. They're not the little thin stakes like you find with a lot of tents. Next, I'm going to attach guy lines to each of the pull tabs. So I like to use two half hitches. So I'll run the rope in and I'll loop it around and tie a knot and I'll loop it around the same direction and tie a second knot. Like so. Now it may seem like it takes a long time to set this up because we're doing this, but we'll just leave these attached when we take it down and they'll be ready to go for next time. Now on the other end, we have these metal adjusters. They say acacia on them. They look real nice. We'll pull a loop through there, about like that. And then if you want to adjust it, you'll just slide this through like so. You'll hold onto this and pull the rope through. So I'll get that staked into the ground. And now that's secure. So I'm going to do that to all four sides. Okay, so now it's all staked down. The next step is installing the rain fly. So here we have two short poles. On the rain fly should be two golden toggles, I think. Let's look. Yes, they look like this. And there are two golden rings on top of the tent. So I'm going to hook these up. I'm going to have the underside facing away from the tent when I hook these up. So now I'm going to flip the rain fly up over the tent. Then there are going to be more toggle and rings around the perimeter of the tent on top. Similar to the guy lines on the tent, I'll secure the fly with guy lines. Now I'm going to stick the short poles in here and it's gonna slide up in here and this will fit over the end. Like so. So that's the basic setup of the tent. Let's take a look at some of the features here. So this does have rain flies that can be put down on the sides. So they're held up here with loops and toggles. When you roll these up, you want to roll them under so they don't catch water. Then we'll pull the stake and we'll run the loop through here. Then we have toggles on the side. So that fits nice and tight up against the tent and it has these on all sides. So let's head back to the inside. So we had some toggles to hold the outside door open. We also have them for the inside. So you could just use one door or the other. So we have eight of these sides and each one has two windows on it. And these all unzip. Of course, that's not going to have anything because the rain flies there. Let's open this one. So now this is open. We have a screen there. So you're going to get really good ventilation here. So you have this open and then you also have the vent on the top. But if it's a really hot day, you can open up all of these, except for maybe the ones on the side where the sun is to block the sun. And then you can have really good airflow through here. So we also have a pocket here. It's a single pocket, single pocket. And here we have a boot where you can run an external heater or air conditioner through here. So if you have an external air conditioner, you can put the tube in there and air condition the space. Now we have that loop on the top where you could hang a light. We also have Velcro here. So if you run a wired light, you don't have the wire hanging down. Now you could also run a power cord in through here if you're out of sight with electricity. And here we have the floor. Now the floor is attached with Velcro, so you can take it off to clean it, or you could attach the Space Acacia air floor. So watch for that in an upcoming video. So this is a two to three person tent. I'm six foot tall. I'll lay down here and kind of move around so you can see how people could be positioned in here.
So the way this is laid out, I would probably sleep somewhere near the middle and put my gear off to the side. Now, if there was another tall person, you'd both have to sleep kind of near the middle. If you have a taller and a shorter person, one person can kind of sleep near the middle, the other person can sleep off to the side, or if you have an adult and child. Now, if you had three people, you'd probably put the tallest person in the middle, the shortest people on the sides. So that's the Space Acacia pop-up tent. I thought this was very easy to put up once I knew what I was doing. Of course, there's a little bit of setup the first time you do it to tie those guy lines on there. The fit and finish of the material seems top-notch. It's very durable fabric. It has nice connectors. The zippers on this are YKK zippers, so they use high-quality products. I really like the four-season aspect of this. We have these panels down, so we have extra insulation. We have the rain flies, especially with the windows covered. But then you can pull those up and have the windows exposed and let lots of air flow through here. As a six foot tall person, I like that there's headroom in here for me to get dressed. One potential downside is if you have multiple tall people, it might get a little crowded in here. Now they do make an XL model that is bigger than this one, and that might be more ideal if you have multiple tall people. So that's almost all I'm going to cover in this video. If you stay past the ending here, I'm going to tear it down and pack it away. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. And I'm not going to do any narration while I tear this down. I'll just film it.